Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your SG400. Stay to the end because there's some bonus scenes at the end. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the SG400. Um, some I don't know if some of you have issues with when you print something out, you get some lines like this. So I printed this out and it gave me some lines and I've printed every week on my printer so I don't know if it just needs to be cleaned or what so what I'm doing is on the maintenance I'll show you all again I put regular paper in there I'm just gonna go where it says uh, preferences And so I'm going to go up here to maintenance. And I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm going to do the nozzle check. We're going to start there. And it says printed test pattern. Uh, so you can check nozzle print conditions. Oh, my mouse ain't working too good. I hate this stupid thing. Look at that. Hit next. Next. So we're going to try this and see what happens. This is, I don't know what it could have possibly been. I don't know. We'll see. Can y'all see these very well? I mean, they look pretty good. I mean, I don't know if that's the way they're supposed to look. I guess we can go go check this user guide. Really? Cannot open user guide. Well, crap. And I don't have a CD-ROM, so I can't insert a CD. So, um... I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to have to do some more research on this and then test it out. So right now we're going to do some cleaning of the print heads. And right now what we just got regular paper in there because I don't want to waste. So yeah, if you can see the blue, the black, I guess. yellow and I guess the magenta but I don't know if it's supposed to be lined up like that like kind of off center I don't know we'll see what it does all right I think it worked because this is the first one and then this is the second one and it looks the same so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna reduce the size of the image and then we're gonna go from there and see if it still leaves these lines like this I was like I was very disappointed I was like you gotta be kidding me 
So guys, it's very important that you at least print more than once a day because I've been printing, well, take that back, I've been printing about once or twice a week. So probably should print at least something once a day. So let's try this real quick. Now I'm working from my Silhouette Cameo. So I, get, I just chose the Sawgrass and current pace, number of copies, preferences, um, speed priority. Um, I'm just gonna go with uh, high quality, landscape color, hit okay. I'm gonna try that, see what it does. So it's printing out of my silhouette or cameo, silhouette studio and now I have the basic edition so we'll see if it prints up any lines now i went with the smaller picture because i didn't want to waste so much ink let's see what it does hopefully no more lines Moment of truth. I don't see any lines, so that might have worked. I think that cleared it up. So, what I'm going to do now. You know, that. It didn't even come out darker, darker blue than that last one, but probably because this is on regular paper. But it didn't give me a line, so I'm gonna try blowing it up and see what it does. Now I'm using that Techstar print paper or that A sub. So remember, we're putting it in face down. So, I'm gonna blow it up and then print it out and see what happens. All right, let's print. Hopefully we won't get those lines like we did here. You see, I don't know why that looks light blue here, but here it is very, very dark. So I don't know. But I kind of like the dark blue. So guys if you've had any situations where you're getting lines on there i think the best thing to do is just clean the print head just do a quick cleaning and just add regular paper i had gina would just say the word i talked to her and she told me just um make your image small and clean your heads and then do a test print and then if you don't get lines throw in some uh, sublimation paper in there and then hit print and see what it does so hopefully i'm crossing my fingers it comes out good with with no lines i mean because i this is it's not supposed to happen but like i said i guess if you don't print as much on it it'll do that so we'll see all right here's the difference and you know what? Look, look at the color difference. Compared to that, to that, after you're cleaning the heads. So guys, if you're getting dull, dull images like that, and you're not using your printer as much, 
I'd say go ahead and clean clean your head because I mean that color came out vibrant and dark and when I go to press it it's just gonna come out awesome but yeah I compare that I mean compare them both side to side and tell me which one looks better I mean it's a no-brainer so Gina thank you so much for the info thank you for telling me what to do I just want to pass this out to anybody else that might run into the situation if you print and you get some lines on your paper throw some regular um, copy paper in your printer and clean your heads and you'll get vibrant colors you know whenever you're ready to print so you'll go from that to this so yeah guys if you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe thumbs up and like this video thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for some more Hey guys, well I put it in there and I went with the heat transfer flock and I got my blade on a three. So I wanna show you, so these are the settings. Cut, transfer flock. Let me see, I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see. Speed five, force 33, one pass. And then, um, gonna come back, unload. So hopefully it cut and it did. It cut all the way around it just like I wanted it to. All I wanted left was just that. Uh, do you know what I was just now thinking about? I guess since it's just that image I didn't leave myself enough room to to use my heat heat tape on there. I mean, but it came out good. So yeah, that worked. Flocked work. Uh, heat transfer flocked. It cut it out. Here's the image that's gonna go on the shirt. So it'll go like so so yeah guys that's how you do it I mean that's how you get those lines out of there and do your print so if you ever have any issues where you have lines in your print like that just do a clean your heads on your printer make sure you want to make sure that you you want to make sure that you print, you know, at least once a day or maybe once every two days because I've only been printing once a week and I got those lines yesterday, so I didn't have time to look at it. But yeah, I love it. I like it. Once again, thank you, Gina, for your help. You really helped me out and hopefully this helps someone else out. So guys, um, thanks for watching. And we'll talk to y'all later.